Hello everyone, so in this video we showcase the solution to the first exercise uh, where we had to create a uh, three columns layout with the column items to be uh, vertically centered in the column. So for that we didn't change anything in the uh, HTML file, it is the same as it was given. Uh, and the uh, solution looks like this, the styles are purely um, just to picked up uh, quickly so it's not something mandatory it shouldn't look exactly like this uh, but as you can see we have three equal columns with uh, three items each where we have a different style when we are hovering the uh, cursor over them um, so for that the solution lies in the style.css file which you will find on github as well um, below the two declarations that we've already made we have the declaration of each class that we, we manipulated. So for starters, the uh, container class, um, we've declared it as a flex container with the direction of the items to be in a row way. So we have the columns next to each other. The flex wrap property with the wrap uh, value, it's uh, optional, it's not mandatory. I've added it just to make the uh, layout reflowable as well. And the padding and the background color are um, just picked up they are uh, they are not mandatory so it will work without them as well for the column class we have as well the declaration that it's a flex container with the flex direction of the items to be in a column way and in order to center them uh, in the context that the direction of the items are in column we've used justify content center um the height is uh, just picked up just to have some space to demonstrate that we actually have the items vertically centered and um, the flex uh, the flex property with the 33.33 percent is just to have three equal columns in our context um the column item class it's uh, actually the uh, item in the column where uh, we've used uh, it as a reflex container just to align the text in the center um the height is uh, purely orientative so it's just 30 pixels to have some space and the background color as well. And for the hover state, we've used the hover pseudo class uh, with uh, a few styles, the background color to switch to white and the color of the text to black in order to see the difference. And yeah, as you can see, uh, when you hover the click over them, you have the background as white and the text as black. And yeah, that's uh, the solution for the exercise.